Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Expresso on SABC3. Now, I think as we all know, access to free Wi-Fi can really open up a whole new world of possibilities out there. And by that, I mean a lot more than just the hashtag. And this has become very evident in the city of Tuane, where one youngster is making the most of the city's free Wi-Fi services. Blue Bank statistics show a 10% increase in internet access can result in approximately 1% growth in the GDP. With benefits such as this, the city of Tswane decided to launch its very own free public Wi-Fi network. It is the largest of its kind in the country, followed by the Western Cape. And 23-year-old Martin Nyokolodi is taking full advantage of this service. Martin uses the free Wi-Fi spots to broadcast his online radio station, Zasong. And he's also part of the Chuane Free Wi-Fi Champions Program. Martin, you are a true inspiration, man. Talk to me about your online radio station. I've been running the online radio station for like three months now from last year, November. It's been quite doing very well and uh, the listeners vary from time to time because it runs only for an hour. So 50 listeners, sometimes sometimes it's just way over there. And what inspired you? I looked around and I saw that, you know, from a place where I was living, there were no podcast stations at all, let alone a radio station and FM station. So I thought, you know what, I can do this because I've done radio broadcasting at college and say, so yeah, the skills. The city of Chuane joined forces with non-profit organization Project Isizwe to run out these free Wi-Fi spots in carefully chosen locations. When the city of Chuane and Project Isizwe came together, it flourished into an awesome project, which is now well known throughout the globe as Chuane Free Wi-Fi which serves 1.2 million people. Well, the 20 free Wi-Fi does my job a whole lot easier because I can communicate with my listeners through Skype. They can call me through Skype calls and email me, send me emails, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and all that. If it went for 20 free Wi-Fi, I'd have to buy my own airtime and buy data and all that, so it's very expensive. As easy as that? As easy as that. Martin is also part of the 20 free Wi-Fi Champions program, which was launched in November last year. The free Wi-Fi champions are young, motivated individuals who are passionate about sharing, educating and connecting with Wi-Fi users. Martin Nyokolodi is essentially one of the best people we could have brought onto the Champions program. He has fulfilled his obligations and mandates as a Wi-Fi champion to essentially get people to use free Wi-Fi and at the same time also inform businesses and other organizations around Sushanguve of how they can leverage and benefit off the Chuan Free Wi-Fi project. The service is delivered at an average user speed of 15 megabits per second and has been upgraded to 500 megabytes per device per day. With this, the city of Tswane is on track with their vision to bring free Wi-Fi within walking distance to every citizen within 2017. That's pretty cool. By late last year, the network logged over 750,000 unique devices making use of the free Wi-Fi. This Wi-Fi helped me a lot. It helped me on my studies and then I can save I can save money instead of buying data I can use the uh, 20 free Wi-Fi. I mostly use the free Wi-Fi for my emails and downloading some channels for my research and checking some jobs on Pinet and uh, job space and the likes. Free Wi-Fi helped me with my studies because I come here and Google my stuff, a lot of, lot of my stuff here. Yeah. We think that this is going to improve the quality of life, the experience, and the ability for people to search and exploit new knowledge. The goal is to have free internet across the entire capital city in two years, which will open doors for many young people to learn, develop themselves, and build the economy. Oh, what innovation, what creativity. Well done to that young man. And watch out, Gareth Cliff, Internet Radio is coming. Ting, ting, ting. And also, well done to the City of Tuane for that, innovate, for that uh, initiative. That's uh, really, really wonderful. And really, I think, opening up a lot of opportunity for everyone out there uh, in this city. But right now, it's time for us to catch up with the earliest morning headlines. And here's Zoe reporting. Thank you.